open handedly and ask every look the first thing Ira that that police do in a stop is they ask for identification regardless of the color of your skin true Ira absolutely absolutely and even if you don't have your wallet uh, they have a computer in the squad car. They can easily pull it up if you provide the information. They can determine, regardless of what your race or ethnicity is, whether you have those documents that you say that you have. And, you know, Frank is just wrong. We don't need any congressional authorization to do this. Uh, Congress and the president have the ability to act right now. It is the president's failure to adequately enforce the immigration laws of the United States, to secure that border, yeah, Frank, to go after the employers. We don't need to grant, grant amnesty the to the illegal aliens in order to go after the employers. If the president would enforce federal law, the states wouldn't have to engage in what they're entitled to engage in, according to the framers, police powers. And isn't that what they're doing? Look, what the, what the president is asking for, the first part of that speech, is for Congress to act. Look, if we're going to solve illegal immigration, we're not going to do it by having state laws like in Arizona. What we're going to do is not only have strong border patrol, we're going to crack down on illegal hiring and require the people here illegally to get in the system and get legal. That's the solution to illegal immigration. The idea that putting a target on the back of Hispanics, legal or not, in Arizona is going to solve the illegal immigration problem, that you know, it makes for great political theater, but it doesn't make for real Frank, solutions. Frank, would you Leadership agree that the immigration not problem continues to be a problem? It continues to of escalate course. and that the feds have Absolutely. not done much to help. The feds have not done enough and Congress is then really Then doesn't the it ones follow down Frank the that the states finally fed up are trying to it, do something it and what they're doing that. is criminalizing the federal law which is already a crime. What I don't understand is why the two senators from Arizona aren't arguing in Congress for comprehensive immigration reform like they used to. They're not doing it because there's this right-wing extremism in Arizona that's taken hold and said, let's go after Hispanics and maybe yeah. we'll drive them all out of the state. That is un-American. All right. 70, the common sense 70 solution is in Congress. Last word, seventy percent of Arizonans favor this law. Uh, that that is not a fringe element. That is the mainstream of people in Arizona. And you know, we don't have to get people legal. What we have to do is get people who are here illegally out of Arizona, out of the United States, uh, so that the people right. of Arizona, the, their interests are protected. Ira Melman, Frank Sherry. Uh, the debate continues. We'll wait and see a couple of hours from now whether the governor signs the law. Thanks very much.